so in this video we will discuss about rules of divisibility of 4 and 6 okay let's start with 4 so in this case when a number is given suppose 3856 this number is given and we have to find out whether this number is divisible by 4 or not then what we have to do we just have to check the number formed by the last two digits okay the rule is to check the number formed by the last two digits so in this case in this number 3856 the number formed by the last two digit is 56 so we have to check whether 56 is divisible by 4 or not not the whole number so we divide 56 by 4 and see whether we get a remainder 0 or not so 4 1s are 4 1 6 4 4 the 16 remainder is 0 that means this whole number is divisible by 4 that means if you divide this whole number by 4 we will get remainder 0 you can check it 3 8 5 6 if you divide it by 4 4 9 the 36 2 5 4 6 the 24 1 and 6 4 4 the 16 remainder will be 0 that means in order to check a full number whether it is divisible by 4 or not we just need to check the last two digits okay similarly take uh, another example of 2850 so in this 2850 in this number we will check whether 50 is divisible by 4 or not we will check for 50 4 1s are 4 so 1 0 4 2 is 8 remainder is 2 that means 50 is not divisible by 4 so this whole number 2850 is not divisible by 4 okay if you have to check another number 6 7 5 3 2 in this number what we have to see we have to see whether this number 32 the last two digits 32 is divisible by 4 or not so we can do this directly also we know that 32 comes in the table of 4 without going for the division we know that 4 8s are 32 okay that means 32 is divisible by 4 then this whole number will be divisible by 4 okay so sometimes without going for division also we can find out whether a given number is divisible by 4 or not now uh, some other numbers you can take as example 7 3 0 4 okay in this number what we can see that the number formed by the last two digit is 0 4 0 4 0 4 is nothing but 4 and 4 is divisible by 4 okay so this 7304 is divisible by 4 answer will be yes okay let us see uh, an, another type of number say 3500 now what is the number formed by the last two digits here here it is 00, zero double zero double zero is same as uh, zero only okay and if we divide zero by any number the remainder you will get as zero only 
zero is divisible by any number. How? Let's see. If we divide zero by four, okay, four zeros are zero. The remainder is zero. Okay. So if we divide zero by any number, you'll get remainder zero. That means zero is divisible by four. So in this case, if we have two zeros at the end also, that number is divisible by four. Okay. So in order to check divisibility by four, what we have to do? We just have to check the number formed by the last two digits of the number. If the number formed by the last two digit is divisible by four, then the whole number gets divisible by four. That means if we divide that whole number by four, we get remainder zero. Okay. Next, we'll discuss about uh, divisibility by six. So, in order to uh, check whether a number is divisible by six or not, what we know six is product of two and three. Is it or not? So since 6 is product of 2 and 3, for a given number, we have to check whether that number is divisible by both 2 and 3 or not. So for example, so let, let me just write the rule. Check divisibility of 2 and 3 both. If both are satisfied. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then that number is divisible by 6. There is no additional rule. Okay. We have already learned how to check the divisibility of 2 and how to check the divisibility of 3. We just apply the two rules here in single one. Okay. So for example, say a number is given 198. Now this 198 we have to check for 2 as well as 3. So how to check for 2? We see the units digits, the last digit is 8. Since it is 8, it will be divisible by 2. 2 is satisfied. Now to check for 3, what we have to do? We have to add 1, 9 and 8. Okay. 1 plus 9 plus 8. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 is divisible by 3. That means this number is divisible by 3. Okay, so what we can see that 198 is both divisible by 2 and 3. That means 198 is divisible by 6. So to check the divisibility of 6, we need to check the divisibility of 2 and 3, which we have learned already. Okay, so you already know before my teaching only you know how to check the divisibility of 6 okay let us take another example 60 we have to check the divisibility of 60 by 2 as well as 3 since our last digit is 0 it is obvious that 60 is divisible by 2 okay now to check for 3 we have to check the sum of 6 and 0 6 plus 0 is 6 6 is divisible by 3 okay 6 comes in the table of 3 so 60 is divisible by 3 also in this case 60 is divisible by 6 If you take another example of say 82 and we have to check for 2 as well as 3, we know that 82 is divisible by 2. Why? Because the last digit is 2. So it is divisible by 2. And to check for 3, 
8 plus 2 is 10 but 10 does not come in the table of 3 so it is not divisible by 3 so what we see what we saw is that 82 is divisible by 2 but not 3 so 82 is not divisible by 6 okay and uh, let us take another example 438 this one you try now okay try check whether it is divisible by 2 and 3 both or not and after watching this video in the whatsapp group you answer me that 438 is divisible by 6 or 438 is not divisible by 6 you should do after watching the video and answer me in the group okay and all the divisibility rules that we have learned today i will give you in written form okay don't worry about that you just have to study them properly and have to memorize them Thank you.